Good afternoon. Welcome to Cooking with John. And joining me today is Cynthia Bridges with Buffalo Rock. Good our morning, sponsor. John. Thank Yay. You. Yay. And today I get to do the cooking, or most of it. I'm going to have you help me out here. Okay. We're making biscuits, one of my favorites. Uh, they're not hard to make. You don't need to get a package mix. You can make them right at home. They turn out like this or even better. So what you're going to do is you're going to mix two cups of flour. And this is an easy recipe. One tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And this is going to be on WKRG.com, so don't worry about it. Uh, we've already done that here. The next thing you got to do is add your butter. Yeah, my butter. All right, All right, so I've cut some up and put it in the refrigerator so it's okay. nice and cold. Dump it right in that dry mix. Get it out. Just, just scoop it out. You're going to be using there your fingers go. anyway. Okay. All right, and now get it covered with flour. Cover All it right. up with flour. All right, now start smooshing it with your fingers. That's Smoosh. called flaking. Okay. All right. And you know, I forgot to have you do this first, so I'm going to actually help you out with okay. this. Okay. Uh, because your fingers are going to be all covered with <laughs> butter and stuff. So a lot of folks don't have buttermilk to make biscuits. They make great biscuits, by the way. But if you don't have buttermilk, which I often do not, very easy. You take a tablespoon of vinegar, can be white, can be cider, can be anything. Put it in there. I wouldn't use wine vinegar. It might be a little weird. <laughs> um, let's see here. And add the rest of this one cup measure up with milk. I generally put this back in the refrigerator, let it sit, and it will curdle to the point of where it's buttermilk. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job <laughs> flaking this. Thank and I you. Hope we, can we see that from above just to see what's going on here? Mush it down between your thumb and your and your first finger too. All right. Good. All right, and then we're going to add the buttermilk to that. Now I had to do this in stages, so what you end up with is a glob like this. You don't want it too soft, or you don't want it too mushy, I mean you don't want it wet. Kind of the consistency of Play-Doh. There you go. And then you want to put some flour on your countertop. Boom. Mush it out. Fold it over. Maybe fold it over again. And that's it. This is not bread. <laughs> don't knead it. The more you work this dough, the tougher your biscuits are going to get. So don't work it much at all. All right. Got any questions so far? Any special tools or utensils? That you do mm -hmm. not. I actually, I sometimes will cut my butter in with a pastry cutter, but I often use that flaking method. Uh, my kids got me this one year for Christmas. I love it. It's handy for scooping up stuff and scraping stuff. But once you get this laid out here, and about half inch to three quarters of an inch thick, you cut it, and then just cut as many biscuits as you want. You can make big biscuits or small. Yesterday I made giant, and today I made uh, these others. Can you use a round biscuit cutter? You can, absolutely. Okay. I'm going to put these on here. Now you want to take them apart and put them back together where they're just barely touching. It's called kissing. And then you put them in a 450 oven for about 12 minutes. And at that point, watch them. At 12 minutes, start watching them like a hawk until they're just the brownness you want. And that's what I wanted. And I hope this has helped you out. Absolutely. You gonna try making biscuits <laughs> oh, now? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I All hope right. they turn out as good as yours. <laughs> the recipe's on WKRG.com, but you can adjust biscuit recipes. Uh, it's not like chemistry. You can do a little more of this, a little less of that. It won't hurt much. All right? Thank you, Cynthia. Thank for being you, John. Here I appreciate it. Let's make some more biscuits. <laughs>